The job we have today is we have to set um, set that top beam into the posts. Also, Arlen, wave. Yes, Arlen's helping out. So Arlen's holding a string line there. So you can see it touching there, it's touching there, it's touching there. Um, I've checked this a number of times, so it's the posts are level with each other. But we've got a little gap there because it's not square. There's a big gap there. It's actually it's rest. It's actually above the post there quite a bit. There's some wedges there to sort of support it. And the gap there, you can see it's resting on that far corner there. So what we need to do is take some wood off this end and take some wood off and flatten this end so it's sitting on those posts nice and um, nice and flatly, but also so that we get connection here uh, between the beam and the post. And that is the job for today. So, something I realized when I've been doing all the editing for these videos is when I'm trying to explain things, I say so an awful lot. Now you might not have seen it as many times as I have because I've done a lot of editing to the between the so and then the rest of the next the next bit I said oh, there's, a, there's a gap that I can sometimes cut it so I get rid of the so but I say it an awful lot so if that's annoying anyone apologies um, it's annoying me <laughs> as I'm doing the editing so um, got the scribe lines here which you probably can't well I'm sure you can't see in the camera um, but I can see them really clearly so that's great uh, now I've got to take the plumb line to the to this face and get that face nice and get it plumb. But how do we get this face here and these faces here to match up with each other to be flat and square and everything? Well, I'm not really sure, uh, and I don't really care because this face when it meets up with the post. It's not a structural surface, it's not a structural making, so it doesn't matter. It's just got to be, in this case, it's just got to be plumb. So all we're going to do is get this surface plumb, get that surface plumb, and then we'll work out how to get the structural surface exactly right, which is this area here and this area here, but that's a later problem.
laying out your timbers uh, in a pre preparation sort of work out where your joints are going to go, it's a good idea to try and keep the joints free of knots, but it's not always possible. And when you've got a knot in a joint, instead of using an axe or a bisagu to remove the waste, it can often be better to use a saw to cut either side of the knot. Do you see this line here? Yeah. Do you reckon you could tell me when the saw is getting close to it? Yeah. <laughs> do you want to go, do you? Yeah. Okay, come around here. Now, come here. Put two hands, and you've got to watch you don't hit your knuckles on that. Alright? Now, it cuts on the pull stroke. So, when you pull it back, it cuts, and then you gently feed it back. Yeah. Okay? I don't really know how to do this. Oh, do you? Yeah. Who taught you? Uh, no one, of course. You, no one, of course. Okay, right. Go away. Where are you go? Yeah. Kneel down. I can. You need and you need you need to stop. done. The top beam fitted just before the weather closed in. So I hope you enjoyed this and we'll um, see you in the next video.